This video will demonstrate the physical installation of V20 on your fuel tank. Electrical wiring must be performed by a licensed electrician. To install V20 on your fuel tank, apply thread tape or pipe thread sealant to all threaded joints, including tank adapters, suction pipes, and hoses. For a suction pipe, a 1-inch steel pipe threaded on one end may be cut to match the depth of your fuel tank, leaving at least 2 inches of clearance between the bottom of your suction pipe and the bottom of the tank. Install the suction pipe on the included tank adapter and install the tank adapter on your fuel tank. Tighten down with an adjustable wrench. Then install V20 on top of the tank adapter. Next, using a 4 mm hex wrench, attach the nozzle holder to the pump. Then add the O-ring to the pump outlet port. Next, attach the hose into the hose adapter and install the hose adapter to the V20's outlet port using a 5 mm hex wrench. Tighten the hose with an adjustable wrench to avoid leaks. Then attach your GPI nozzle to the hose. If the pump is to be installed in a hazardous, classified location, it must be installed by a licensed electrician and conform to all national, state, and local codes, including, but not limited to, NEC, CSA 22.1, ANSI, IEC, NFPA 70, 30, and 30A. You, as the owner, are responsible for seeing that the installation and operation of your pump complies with all applicable codes. Rigid conduits must be used to install wiring. Note that the lead wires are factory sealed, isolating the motor from the junction box. Failure to follow these wiring instructions may result in death or serious injury from shock, fire, or explosion. If you have any questions, you can call our support line and speak to a USA-based product support representative in our factory that will assist you with installation, maintenance, repair, and warranty questions. This responsive live service is our legacy and our commitment to you. Thank you for choosing GPRO.